on this week's edition of foreign fans that somehow ended up in the United States and subsequently in my collection, we have this little six inch gold star personal desk fan. Now this one was another one that I won off of the Goodwill auction site. And this one, the thing that's really cool about this one, not only is it brand new in the box, well, actually, it's not brand new. It was used in the box, uh, evidently. But uh, it's the box and everything on the fan and the manual is all in Korean. Uh, so, yeah, this, I believe, was made in Korea, evidently. Um, and South Korea, that is. And, yeah, Gold Star was the company, parent company of uh, what we now know as LG. Uh, one of the parent companies. Uh, they merged with another company and they became Lucky Gold Star, I believe, and then that was then shortened to LG, the two initials, which then became Life's Good as we know it today. Uh, so the LG, it stands for two different things. You might might not have known that. Anyways, this one, I'm not sure exactly when it was made. I want to say probably the early 90s, maybe? uh late 80s early 90s not entirely sure i can't really say for certain because all the uh manuscript writing on it is all in korean so i can't understand it but uh yeah so let's take a look at the fan first the fan itself so it is in a blue color scheme which is really nice blue of course being my favorite color i do love these transparent blue blades it's a lighter blue than like the uh like on a galaxy or something like that uh like that there's still a really nice color really nice tone the uh, actual like plastic parts like the grill motor housing and base are all like a very soft light blue they're not almost white but it's a very light light blue you can just tell that it's a very slight tint of blue very very nice um and then the label and the switch badge are also blue now uh the actual informations on the switch badge here are also in korean i did try attempt to translate this on google translate this translates according to them to venus fan uh this is the high position and this is low this one translated to river, and this one translated to approximately. So I can pretty much say for certain that's not correct. Um, but that is the model number, FD-150. Now the thing that's also interesting about this fan is you probably noticed on the box that it is rated at 110 volts or 220 volts. So this is a another fan, just like my Rax box fan, that is made for the international market and is universally... Uh, can be used on any voltage or either 220 or 110 in countries that use those voltages. I don't know if there's any uh, uh, regions that use a higher voltage than that. There might be, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, yeah, so then on the back here, you probably notice that there is another tag here. And this goes more into detail about the 110 volt and 220 volt. It says that it is uh, compatible with either 110 or 20. I did translate this one, and it, I think it came out pretty uh, accurate. It translates roughly to, if I can remember it correctly, the fan is rated at a, a compatible for 110 or 220 volts, um, and is set up for 110 volts from the factory. Uh, if you wish to switch to 220 volts, uh, consult the owner's manual. I think it says something like that. Um, I remember that's what I from what I remember. Um, and then down here, it's just the model number. Not entirely sure what that is. I didn't translate it. And then on the bottom, whoa, even more informations, which I have no idea what any of this means. Nine eight nineteen forty maybe. When Gold Star was founded, I don't know why that would be on the bottom of the fan. Gold Star logo there. 
and that's pretty much all I can understand. Gold Star logo there. That's probably the serial number there. Um, yeah, don't see a date coder. Oh, 1987. There we go. So, yeah, I was right. Late 80s. Um, cool. So then, of course, being that this fan was made for 220 volts and made in Korea overseas, it has a European plug. However, it did come with this adapter for uh, converting from the European plug to a U.S. plug. So uh, that was another piece of evidence as to how this fan was used previously. And the other thing is, you can see, uh, it's got like some sticker that was stuck there, some residue or some sort. I tried cleaning it off as best I could. Couldn't get it entirely off. And it was also pretty dusty on the back. So evidently someone had, had used this prior and they kept it in the box and then or kept the box, and then when they didn't want it anymore, they stuck it back in the box and donated it. So, um, very cool. Now, before we get to powering up the fan, I do want to show you the rest of the box. So here's the other, this side. I think these two sides are identical. Yeah, and then the back, which has a hole punched in it. That's the side that's in the worst condition. But these two sides are identical otherwise. And then on top, this also translated to Venus fan. I did translate this, uh, this box face. And I believe that says uh, 110 to 20 volt operation, evidently. <laughs> Could probably deduce that pretty clearly. Uh, this, I did translate this. I don't remember what it said. And then on the inside here, if I can get it open. You've got, whoa, owner's manual, which I will show you guys in a second. And this, which I believe is a warranty registration card that you mail back to the manufacturer, Gold Star. And it's all in Korean, which is super cool. So, Korean warranty registration card. And it opens from the side, which is interesting. If you've seen my smoke detector videos that uh, unboxing new in-box smoke detectors that have these, it's often in an envelope that opens that way, like a normal American letter that you'd see. So this is, I'm not sure if that's a Korean thing. Anyways, let's take a look at the manual now. So... Very interestingly, it's in mostly uh, Korean, but it says model right there in English, which is kind of interesting. So yeah, very, very cool. And then on the side here, once again, all Korean. The diagram is pretty cool. Diagrams. And the drawings. <laughs> I like these drawings. The fan. They probably put those drawings in, honestly, for non-Korean speakers such as myself, so we can at least deduce what's going on. And then on the back here, <laughs> that's a cute little diagram or drawing. And I don't know what all this is. It must be Gold Star dealers or service centers. Interesting. I don't know if copyright or anything, what their laws are in Korea, but I don't didn't see a copyright date on this. Very cool. And then you probably saw right here from this diagram that uh, I did take this back off when I had I take, took the fan apart obviously to clean it, and I took the back of the motor housing off. There are two plugs inside. One is labeled 220 volts. One is labeled 110 volts, and then there's a wire it's a basically a wiring harness uh from the head wire and you plug that into either the 220 volt or the 110 volt one whichever voltage you're locally in evidently we are in 110 volts so it's plugged into the 110 volt uh plug from the wiring harness and the motor has two coils i believe uh for 110 volt and 220 so uh, now, now that that's all done with, 
uh, I've gone ahead and plugged the fan in. So let's turn it on. Start it up on high speed. And for being a little six inch fan, it's actually really powerful. Like a modern fan would not move half this much air, but like I can feel it all the way back here. This thing means business. And the blades are pretty steeply pitched. Turn it down to low. I did run this fan for a few nights after I got it on low all night. It's perfect for sleeping with, I think, while it's running. Alright, spin down from low. And that's the other thing, is this one has a really good spin-down time. And the motor is like a regular shaded pull C-frame motor, like you'd typically see in a, basically a regular mini desk fan like this, uh, of one from America, uh, the ones that were made during like the 90s, and are still made today. Uh, but the, it's just, it's a really good motor. It's got great bearings, and it's dual voltage evidently, so I do want to see if I can capture the startup sound that this one has. So I'll start it on high. It does have a little bit of a startup sound, which is pretty cool for a little shaded pull C-frame motor. Spin down from high. And I did oil the front bearing when I got it. It still had a really good spin down time when I got it, but um, the back bearing is sealed, or like you can't access it without taking the actual bearing off, and I didn't want to do that. It seemed fine. So there we go. Very good bearings in this motor. Very good motor. So, um, I think that is just about it for this really really neat fan from Korea it's gold star model FD-150 6 inch personal fan so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video